don't miss a beat join the notification squad by clicking that bell you'll get notified every time i upload a video and be sure to join our discord to talk and get help with your code Hey everybody, we'd just like to take a moment to thank the guys over at SkySilk who made this video possible. SkySilk is a Linux-based cloud hosting platform built for developers with plans starting at just $2 a month, and they're currently giving every new sign-up a free $100 credit to try out the platform for 60 days. You can get started in just a few clicks over at SkySilk.com. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of our Discord.js tutorials. My name's Stan, and I hope you will enjoy these series. Um, so. Yeah, you want to go to Discord bot. It might be smart to have a bit of experience with JavaScript before you start. Because we're going to do Discord.JavaScript. Um, if you don't, it's no problem. I'll be trying to explain a lot of things. But it might be useful to know something about it. So, let's start off. Uh, the first thing we have to do to actually make the bot is install Node.js. Which is on this website, Node.js.org. And... You can choose whichever you want. I chose for the latest stable one. Just download it. I already got it in my download folder. Okay, so you're gonna open the um, installer. Run it, accept it. Make sure it's added to path. Then next install. And I'll be back when it's done installing. Okay, here we go. It's done now. I just finish it. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do now is make an application. Discord app.com slash developers slash applications. Go to TS videos. Or you gotta create a new application first. So you've got a menu here. We're gonna go to bot and for you it should set build a bot just click yes accept everything then you'll get this menu and you can either reveal the token or copy it i'll copy it for now and um, invite your bot to that would be useful just give it administrator permissions too There we go, add it to my server and authorize it. Stairs. Okay, there we go. It should be in my server now. As you see, it just joined and it's offline now. So you might wonder what are we gonna do now? You need to write code, of course. So the code writing you can do in any editor you want. You can choose between Visual Studio Code, uh, Atom. There's tons of free editors online available. So it's just up to you. Um, I'm going to stick with Visual Studio now. Okay, so here it is, Visual Studio. We're gonna create a folder which we're gonna work in. Oh, it doesn't matter where you store it, just easy accessible. DGS tutorials and select the folder. Okay, cool. Um, in Visual Studio, you've got a built-in editor uh, terminal. I mean, you can press Control and the top left button, the tilde on your keyboard, and it'll open the terminal. The first thing you're gonna do is npm init. Um, just I'm just gonna press enter on everything. If you want to change anything, you can just type it in and press enter. Uh, as you see, it just created a new file, which has the same stuff, which is here. There we go. Um, now we're gonna install discord.js. You can do it by either typing install or just I. I prefer using I, because it's shorter. And it just created more files and folders because you downloaded something. And I'm going to also add dot env. Dot env is a module which which allows you to use um, process variables, so you don't need to store stuff like tokens and stuff in your main files, which is a bit of a safety thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, we installed everything we need now. We're gonna create our main file. 
um, let's call it index.js because it's called index.js in here too. Okay. Well, what are we going to do now? Okay, so the first ring thing I'm going to explain now is object destructuring in JavaScript. Um, it's something quite useful in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show it. You can declare variables with let var or const. Um, if you don't redeclare your variable, reassign it. Just use const whenever you can. Uh, you can do stuff like this. You de declare Discord now, so you can declare a client like this. Discord.client. Which is all nice and stuff, but I don't like it like this. So I'll remove this, and if I do this, client, it imports this object from the module, so you, it's a bit shorter. So we declared our variable, and you can pass in parameters here, just like disable everyone, which uh, makes sure the bot isn't able to add everyone, mention everyone. Um, and then we also need to lock in our bot, which we're gonna do with .env now. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a .env file and make a variable token is the thing you just copied from the website. And then we go log in with process and Make sure it's capitals too, because you typed it in with capitals here. We're gonna import const require dot env. I think it's config. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, config. Uh, uh, this uh, declares where you're getting your .env file from, so for me it's your name .env. Don't add that. And let's make a ready event too. A ready event triggers when your bot actually goes online, so you can check if it actually works. Ready. You don't need to pass anything. Okay. Um, for now, we'll just console log. I'm online. Okay. So you run the code by typing in node and then the name of the file you're using. So for me, it's index.js. See? And it's online. I can also show you in Discord itself. As you see, it's online. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so as you know, some bots have uh, custom statuses like this. So we're gonna add that too now. Uh, let's change this to the username of the bot. Um, yeah, so you can either use str uh, variables in a string with um, online. My name is what user username like that or I'm online is I prefer to use the top one because you don't need to do this weird string concatting. And there's also a difference between these brackets and these, as you see, um, these you can find on the top left of your keyboard and the other ones next to the enter button. So there's a big difference. So we're going to console log. I am now online. My name is what user username. Oh, and also a quick thing. Don't change this. It's ready without any capitals, without any exclamation marks. It's perfect like this. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay, so um, let's actually put in the presence. Client 
user set since uh, it takes presence data, as you see here. Uh, game. Oh, you can, if you've got uh, IntelliSense installed, you can see what kind of parameters you can add. So, game URL type. So, I'm going to add game name. I'm getting developed type is a watching okay status online you don't need to add online because it automatically puts it online okay so that should work let's try it out node inlet cool. and of course I defined client and not bot oh yeah that's also an important thing to know how to read errors so here it says the file it errors in index.js on the 13th line so that's right here and it also shows you where and what is not working so bot is not defined I changed to client now let's run it again and you see it displays the username and the status now so we're also going to add a simple message event. Um, let's see, client on message. Here, let's async it. There we go. Uh, if you receive the uh, if the bot receives a message or sees a message coming in in the server or a direct message, you can console log it. Message content. Wait, that's message author username username on sad message content. So that'll console lock whenever I get a message in. Great, let's send something. Hello. Stan said hello. This is working, typo, Sansa, this is working. So that's it. That's the basic setup of, of, our, um, of our bot. Hope you learned something off of this video. And I'll be glad to see you next time. See ya. Oh, and by the way, if you've got any suggestions or something, just leave it down in the comments and make sure to join our Discord server if you've got any questions or something. See ya.